talk spiders and creepy crawlies, because for a lot of people watching, spotting just one spider is enough to give you the EBGBs. But imagine having 50 of them. How many? 50 spiders. Five zero. Big ones. Five zero living in your bedroom. Yeah. You never know what's under the bed, but in this case, <laughs> it's 18-year-old Holly Greenhalch. She loves them. She lo yeah. What did I say? <laughs> No, she's eight. Well, I said eight. Everybody's on my every word. I said eight. She only looks eight. She's not 18. She's eight. Eight-year-old Holly Greenhalch. She loves spiders so much, she sleeps alongside them at night. Isn't that true, Holly? Yes. Oh, my... Are you not frightened? No. 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 And your spiders are pretty sumptuous spiders. They're not just sort of like teeny-weeny, itsy-bitsy, skinny-winny uh, spiders. They are enormous. No. What's that Trulach one? Trulach-trunchulas. <laughs> A Chilean rose tarantula. This is Ruby. Ruby, she's huge. How long have you had her? For about a year and a half. About a year. Um, I have to say, Rachel, you're looking quite not so comfortable <laughs> with the spider. Rachel, not really. Mommy. <laughs> not really so comfortable. Um, and am I right in thinking you absolutely hated spiders before Holly started collecting them? Yeah, yeah, I did before. Um, the fear's turned a lot into fascination now. Um, which is good, but I'm still not 100% comfortable around them. But... You... but then why did you buy them for her? <laughs> Just seeing how, um, um, how she is with them. Um... You know, she's she loves them so. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people would have said, Look, "Why don't you just have a hamster like everybody else?" But we've just seen a shot of your bedroom there, Holly. Just it's not just <laughs> your spiders. Tell us about all the animals you keep and how you look after them in your bedroom. So the animals that I keep is tarantulas, scorpions, millipedes, snails, cockroaches, cats, dogs. Um, Oh, stick in the crickets, goodness knows what. Have any of them ever escaped? Because, you know, your mum's saying that she's not that comfortable with some of these. Yeah. Like, yeah what, tell us what's escaped and how did you, how did you get, find them again? Well, my snake has escaped. Um, we found them under <laughs> the other snakes in the sure. enclosure. Um, she's just putting her back because you can't quite look at the camera while holding the spider. OK, <laughs> you, put, you put Ruby back. We're looking yeah. at some pictures. So on that point, Holly, so you've got 50 creatures, right? Some people would say creepy crawly creatures. Do you give each yeah. one of them a name? I mean, you say you've cockroaches as well. Do you give the co Did they all have names? Well, some have names. It's for the tarantulas, we have to know what gender they are to name them. When they molt, we'll have to see what gender they are. Um, for other animals, I've kind of named them, but it's really hard to um, remember their names because I have too many. <laughs> yeah. And Holly, where, where did this fascination with these types of animals come from? And why do you think so many of the rest of us are scared of them? Well, when I started liking tarantulas and spiders and animals is when I was about two, I saw a spider making web. It was just so, so, so fascinating. Um, then I went to a mu museum when I was about three or four, held a massive tarantula. Mm -hmm. I kept nagging my mum for one. And then for my seventh birthday, I got um, a Mexican red knee or a Pachypalma Hamori for my first ever tarantula. Do you know no, you're, you're very, very good talking very about these. Good. and. Uh, uh, you have a YouTube channel where you go on and you tell people about your creatures. Um, what, are you, what, are you trying, what are you trying to do? Who are you trying to reach out to there? What is your mission on YouTube? Um, my mission on YouTube is to spread the word that tarantulas and invertebrates are amazing and cute. And my um, mission, like proper mission, is to meet David Attenborough. <laughs> I think I think he would be absolutely thrilled to meet you because you know you can see that you're so passionate about this. What do all your friends at well, you know, hopefully you're going you're back at school now. What do your friends think about your your hobby and your passion? Um, some friends think the call, cool, some friends don't really think the call. Cool. Um, <laughs> I did a PowerPoint in my old school when I when I was in year two about all the facts of animals and some and tarantulas a species and they kept nagging on for their mum to get one, but their mum wouldn't let them. <laughs> and what about, what about play dates when you're allowed to have people in the house? You know, most of us go back and you're showing someone your dolls or your to trains or your toys, and you say, come up to my room, have a look at this. Yeah, she's quite popular yeah. <laughs> with that. 
You might be less popular when it comes to the age of getting boyfriends. I just put that out there. But, but, but anyway, and mum, when, when you have to, you know, when you go in and tidy the room or vacuum the room, have you to be very careful as to what you might suck up? Um, no, because whenever we're doing any maintenance with them, we, we, we keep our eye on them. So we, we don't tend to have any escapees. So <laughs> it's good. Um, yes. Well, and, yeah. Can we can we see something else before we go? And I I, I don't want to it's disturb okay. Ruby. Is there anything else you could just show us? A snake. A snake. She can get her snake. Out. Yes. <laughs> can we see what's your snake called, Holly? Um, my snake is called George. Then I've got another snake. And and how old is George? Where did you get him from? Uh, George is about one or two years it's old. He's only one year. He's still a baby. One holding up. Holds it nice and tight. Oh, look. Hello, George. What type of snake is he, Holly? He's a royal python or a ball python. And, and has anything ever bitten you? Um, George has once bitten me. This snake, Lizzie, um, has bitten me two times in a row. But you're more in shock more than it hurts. But you still you know love them. I mean. Hold well, him up a bit. So much I want to talk to you about, Holly, but we're out of time. Just to say, can you love snakes and um, crickets and cockroaches Tarantulas. the way you would love a cat or a dog or a rabbit? Well, a fact about my cat, um, he's called Harry. Um, I've taught him to sit and jump <laughs> and spin around. <laughs> Like well, there's Dr. a fact Doolittle. about Harry. Lovely. Uh, Holly, you are fascinating. We look forward to when you are the next David Attenborough and uh, you're playing this clip when you're famous and, uh, and a really influential scientist and animal uh, psychologist, behaviouralist, uh, environmentalist, whatever. Thank you, Holly, and thank you, Mummy Rachel, as well. Well done, thank Rachel, you. for going along no with all that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You. Bye, George. Bye-bye, bye, George the snake. How amazing what an amazing that? young girl. Mm, she knows her stuff. She knows she? her stuff. She's got her she's passion. Passion mm. shining out of her. Yeah, very educated yeah. overall. Wish her say. well. She'll do well. Still wouldn't have them in my house, but <laughs> however. <laughs>